sun is shining here in the UK. I'm generating a nice constant six kilowatts uh, per hour of solar. The power wall is fully charged. The car's charging, the hot water's charging or heating. It's all good. Um, I just thought I'd take a, a few minutes to discuss something that I've seen a few people talking about um, online. A few people have mentioned it to me. Does having solar installed in your house increase the value of your home? So I think it's an obvious question. You spent, you know, maybe 10, 15, 20,000 pounds on your solar installation. You've bought a battery and you've done all these other things. And you've done this maybe for a couple of reasons. Probably predominantly to try and save money over the long term and kind of reduce the impact on energy prices on the amount of expenditure you have every month. And perhaps you've also got some kind of environmental value, so you decided you want to be greener and try and do your part to, for the environment. But then, you know, what is what is the impact um, to the value of your house? So you might think that you know you've spent that ten, fifteen, twenty thousand pounds that's added. Um, value to your house so I've run a couple of local estate agents so this is kind of specific to where I live in, in the Worcestershire region to ask them a couple of questions about solar uh, share with you very briefly their short versioned opinion and kind of what I think myself so in general when I spoke to um, I think it's how many was it about eight eight estate agents so again, not a massive sample size in general most of them said that it adds no value to the the value of the property or the value of your house which in some ways I was surprised about at the same time not and then one of the estate agents said to me that actually he believes that it reduces the value in your home because some people don't like the look of it and I think that does make a lot of sense and I think talk about that a little bit in a moment but I think that's really going to be about the type of panels that you've had installed and you know what they look like because some are more unsightly than others so when I decided to get solar for my house I thought about it for a while but I decided not to get it until I was sure that I planned to kind of live here for the longer term because it's a big investment and obviously I don't necessarily want to be kind of moving and then adding more solar somewhere else and more solar somewhere else um, and I'm sure many people um, who decide to have solar have a similar kind of thought process. And I kind of feel like those majority of state agents are right. I don't think, at least right now, so it's March 2018, no, 2019, <laughs> right now, I think they're right. I think, I don't think the solar and the battery system adds much value to your house so let's say for example you spent fifteen thousand pounds on solar and battery i don't think it will increase the value of your house by fifteen thousand pounds i think solar and battery is a little bit like you know when you buy extras on a car it to the right person it will kind of increase the value um well not increase the value increase the likelihood that someone wants to buy your car versus someone else's. And I think it's going to be the same with solar, that more and more uh, local councils in the UK expect some element of solar on houses, typically just to heat the hot water. And I've spoken to a few people that bought those newer houses that have that, and they don't really appreciate or understand what it is they've got. It's just like, well, it does something with the water. I don't know. It's supposed to reduce my electricity bill. Not sure if it does. Um, so I think there's an expectation. So I think um, to the the right person that knows a bit more about solar and if you can kind of explain to them you know, based on your historical evidence of kind of how much it generates then I think it's a selling point but I don't think you're going to necessarily recuperate uh, or recoup the full cost maybe some of them maybe half the cost maybe um, and the thing I'm not quite sure about actually is how I'm assuming you would just hand over the fit payments to the um, new owner I guess I'm assuming that's how it works 
Um, and that's actually an interesting point because another thing about solar is obviously not everyone who has solar on their roofs owns the solar outright. So when in the kind of the height of the solar panel installations when all the, the massive fit payments were available, lots of companies were paying for solar to be installed on people's roofs and, and they, they would make their money back in, in the future over that's 25 years from the fit payments. So again, if um, you have that option or perhaps you've um, have some repayment to a solar company then I guess these things can impact whether someone wants to buy your house um, with, with solar because they don't maybe know what they're getting or they don't want to worry about the additional costs or outlay they have to do in paying it back or depends on how you've sorted it out. Um, I do think also depending on what kind of tile you have and what kind of solar panels you have and whether it's on the front or back of your house I'll admit that solar panels are kind of unsightly which is I think part of the appeal for the Tesla solar tiles even though they're not really available yet and the efficiency isn't quite as good as a traditional solar panel right now and it's very expensive even if you're doing a complete retile of your roof it's, it's not cheap but solar panels don't look great so I do think that's another reason why you know, people will be put off buying a house with solar panels and I still think people worry about you know is it going to be damaging the roof what happens when a panel fails all these things that you know for example obviously I haven't had any of that yet I haven't even had it a year but you know if a solar panel does fail how do you go about getting that easy replaced you have to have scaffolding put back up I mean these things should be covered under warranty but who pays for the scaffolding or can you get a massive cherry picker that goes up there and does it I don't know there's lots of things that I think aren't very well communicated and people don't particularly understand so it might be a concern when they're buying a house that has solar panels on so I'm just obviously looking at my solar panels on the roof now and I do look at them from time to time but it's not something where I'm sat here looking up at the solar panels thinking they're terrible I mean I look at them every now and then and think yes you're paying for all my things or generating all the things okay so it seems when I come to edit the video that the last portion of that video didn't get recorded for some reason so I'll just try and finish it off now so I guess my conclusionary thought process was is that you know to the right person who understands and you can show them the figures of how much power your solar array generates and how much money you can save off electricity as electricity prices increase in the future I think that it's going to make it more appealing for that individual to buy your house and I think in the future more and more houses will have to have um, solar power as we kind of shift to different forms of energy generation so yeah I don't think I still don't think that it makes your house um, worth more uh, I think to the right people um, you know it makes the house proposition more appealing and hopefully more chance that someone will buy your house with the solar panels and the battery than um, you know, exactly the same house perhaps next door that doesn't have it. Maybe it puts you in a slightly better negotiating position as someone who's selling a house. It's when obviously we're all trying to get the best deal. So when someone's trying to you know, haggle you down on the price of your house, the fact that you have you know, a solar array that has X amount of years of warranty left and a battery that has whatever warranty that's generating, you know, 60% of your house electricity over the year or whatever it may be, um, I think it, it can be a selling point. But yeah, I'm not sure if it increases the value of your home. So yeah, what do you think? Um, please leave some comments. Uh, perhaps you've had some experience with this yourself and you've sold or bought a house and it did or didn't um, influence the cost that you paid or perhaps it did or didn't change um, uh, you know the, your desire to buy that house or perhaps you were going to go buy a house uh, and then you saw that it had solar on the back and it really put you off because you didn't like it and you thought that uh, the panels didn't look very good so I'd be interested to know your thoughts and experiences in the comments below thank you very much Thanks for watching this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks, 
Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.